Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. We're now going back to history. And I remember earlier this week, we went back to the year 2013 to tell you about a Boko Haram attack that, that targeted, you know, the commissioner of police at that time in Adamawa State. We're still in 2013 here. It's a Boko Haram attack as well. And uh, this occurred in uh, Bonu State. So this particular attack on the, 20, on the 7th of May 2013 killed 55 people and uh, freed around uh, you know, so many inmates, about 100 prison inmates. So what this Boko Haram insurgents did is that they attacked an army base, attacked a police station, went to the town's prison as well. They killed 22 police officers, 14 prison officials, two soldiers and four civilians. They, the, these Boko Haram insurgents numbered around 200. They had gathered you know, in, in buses, in gun trucks, you know, pickup trucks as well, you know, hitting these spaces. It was just such an unfortunate incident. You know, over 105 prisoners during the raid was freed. And, and this raid occurred for about about five hours. I mean, do you know what it means for Boko Haram to attack for five hours unstopped, unhindered, mm. killing police officers, soldiers, prisoners as well? It was just such a very dark time very in Nigeria's rich. history going back to the year 2013. We know how, you know, the concern about terrorism, Boko Haram insurgency was still, was still fresh at that time. Then, yes, they were still course. attacking lots with uh, suicide bombers, you know, with bomb attacks as well. But this day in history, this 7th of May 2013, really wasn't a great one for us the, in The Nigeria's stretch history. was really something. I can imagine all the trauma, the, uh, the victims uh, would have gone through, you know, just uh, being there and uh, getting attacked for that long and the uh, rescue was not even coming their way. Because they had killed the mm. people who, who should supposed to even save be them and rescue exactly. them. Yeah. All right, also uh, in history uh, today, uh, 1996, a, a popular uh, American uh, comedian, Martin Lawrence, uh, was in the news as he suffered uh, a nervous uh, breakdown. Let me just give a bit of a background on, on to how that happened. Uh, uh, comedian Martin Lawrence became a household name during the 1990s, establishing a Hollywood career as a leading actor, most notably in films like House Party, Bad Boys, Blue Streak, and Big Mama's House. Uh, Lawrence Lawrence's uh, numerous film roles came after his own highly rated long-running television series named after him, Martin. In 1996, the comedian suffered a nervous breakdown. Uh, Lawrence was picked up by the police for uh, standing in the middle of a busy uh, midday Los Angeles intersection and screaming at cars. Although initially he said it was due to exhaustion and dehydration, his behavior was uh, symptomatic of a mental breakdown from stress attributed to relationships relationship allegations and legal issues. He was again hospitalized with his public relations agent citing exhaustion and dehydration as a reason for this episode. On July 29, in 1996, he tried to take a 9mm gun onto a plane and received two years probation and a fine. Wow. Yeah. You know, he said it was exhaustion and dehydration, uh, but uh, other reports, uh, you know, say uh, something else, uh, legal issues and that relationship allegation. Relationships wow. could do things to you. See, um, I was about to say Osaro oh, again. <laughs> Justin, yeah. when, when we hear nervous breakdown, depression, mm. it's sad that these are things still seen in Africa as white man's disease or white man's illness. Mm, but these things us, happen yeah. to us every day. It, it does. We won't talk about nervous breakdown. It's, it's a period of intense depression. It's just feeling, heightened. It's just, you, know? you just feel mentally unable to function and do your life's you know, normal activities. You feel depressed, you feel anxious, you feel nervous. It's just, it's just such a, and you know, from what I read, it could last for, for a few hours, mm. it could last for a few weeks. You know, so he, Martin Lawrence at that time was going through a lot. You mentioned legal issues. He yes, had issues with his relationship. Before dehydration, exhaustion. So it was just such a lot. And when it comes to celebrities, even though it happens to everyday individuals, does, yeah. but these people have a certain level of responsibility to keep up and appearances. And so much expectation from yes. the people and, they uh, actually entertain. Indeed, indeed. Celebrities, they do go through a lot mentally. Indeed. You they bully do. them online. You, you know, people insult them. Mm. 
They're but, even humans, and most people re don't even see them that way. They just feel that uh, these people are superhuman, they're supernatural. They should, you know, live above normal lives. But that's not true. We should all treat everybody with mm. respect. But sometimes they and just love. want to shout and scream. <laughs> that's what and he did. Get it all out. That's what he did. He went to the road and started screaming our cars. That's that's exactly what he did during he his nervous breakdown. Lagos down. here, and uh, let's see, um, a gym icon. Uh, Ramsey, you know, where just in the middle of a front mill and just parks his car and, and like, starts shouting. <laughs> They'll say he, he instead of he has run people, you know, <laughs> stay following him. Well, no, this is not a joking matter. No, we need to rest all. when you need to rest, True. you know. True. You do need to rest True. and, you know, just give yourself a break. So that's what happened today in history, um, May 7th, 2013. A very terrible Boko Haram attack, you know, attacked, you know, police officers, army officers, freed over 100 inmates in a prison in Borno State. And so you went sad. back to the year 1996. 1996, uh, Martin Lawrence screamed in the middle of a highway, hot yes. afternoon. <laughs> because you know, to let, just let off steam. Indeed. Yeah, All right, that's it for you on Today in History. Uh, we'll take a break here and return with our first big story. And it's about insecurity in Nigeria.